heading to Tiger 3. We're going to watch it opening day. We've got our tickets. First of all, happy Diwali to all of our viewers. We've been hyping up this movie since the Tiger message months ago, and I can't believe the day is finally here. I'm expecting all of the YRF action goodness, and based on our comments, it seems like we're going to see some awesome cameos today. So I'm so excited. I've got my scarf on. It's very warm, but I'm still going to wear it. And uh, yeah, let's see what the movie's going to be like. It's just Santa. He's going back. There we go. Crowded cinema, a lot of people here. Ensure your belongings and any children are clear of the foot. That post credit scene was crazy. The movie was insane. Oh, so high! The connections to the universe are so good. Man, what a crazy movie that was. It pretty much hit all of the boxes that I look for in a YRF movie. Had all the hype action scenes, all very well done. The technique, as always, is very refined. Like you can tell, high budget quality Bollywood action movie. The plot itself, Truth be told, was fairly basic. Like it's a, a pretty normal plot to explain. Overall, very enjoyable movie. Very much a popcorn flick. Go with your friends. Go to a cinema with a huge crowd. Everyone's cheering. The cameos was so good. There was so hype. Oh my god! Like as a fan of the R YRF universe and as a fan of the previous movies. Seeing those cameos just blew me away. I had tears in my eye. The guy next to me was cheering. Was great movie. Like, it says something, I wish I recorded this, but one guy in front of me just stood up and just started saluting the movie. That's, that's how good it was. So guys, definitely watch Tiger 3. If you're a fan of the YRF Spy Cinematic Universe, this is a no-brainer. Have to watch, good movie. This is gonna just 
blow records out the water. Again, I can already tell records are gonna be broken in this. Personally, I still like War 2019 better than Tiger 3, but that's because I love the actors from there. And, all right, this is spoilers. Man, Pathan, that cameo was great. I love the action scene. So good, love the banter, love the, the bromance between him and Tiger. And I love how it's a reflection from the Pathan cameo when Tiger came in. But that post credit scene, when they mentioned Kabil, holy crap. I was just cheering. I was so excited. I was smiling so, so widely. It just, I flashbacked to when we saw War 2019 in the cinema and I, I cannot wait to see him. He looks so cool. He's got a hood, he's got guns, he's, oh, toothpick. So good, Mwah. I love it. I love the movie. There were, there were some parts where yeah, it was pretty like they were superheroes. They were breaking the laws of physics. When it came to the main tiger plot, it was fairly grounded. And I liked the spy, I know it's a spy universe movie, but this one had a lot of spy espionage sort of thing. And the villain, he was, it was pretty threatening. He wasn't just like a strong, very evil man. He had political motives. We saw his background and his background was actually very similar to Jim's from the Dan. Almost like a mirror image of him, which is pretty cool. But yeah, I kind of liked how they sort of just pulled everything back a bit. And that made the plot more interesting. The, the heist was done really well as well. So just, yeah, everything. It was just a spy, a solid spy movie. When I get home, as always, I'll, I'll come up with a review. I'll digest the information and I'll, I'll let you guys know when that comes out. But thanks for joining me with this vlog. We'll see you next time. As always, have a good day.